always like to feel invisible. Welcome to America, where we have more school shootings on the news than graduations. We're easily exposed to the aftermath, the blow up. It's easy to discuss what we could have done right when it goes left. All cries for help aren't loud, and all pain doesn't come with blood and bruises. About 20% of students ages 12 to 18 experience bullying nationwide. But let's take it home. Oh, you didn't think we were dealing with things in our own backyard? Take it from nice. What like what what do you, what people be saying to like push your buttons, you know, like get you mad. Um they talk about my family. Like uh, in what way? Um like they talk about my dad. Um and that bothers me because my dad died and I don't have a father, so it's like I'm like that one unlucky kid and bunch of my don't get me wrong, a lot of people don't have their dad around. But it's like I was like that one unlucky kid in a bunch and they just find a way to just keep on picking at me and I just keep on letting it bother me. Uh, do you have anyone say that the people that's like going through what you're going through or people that can relate or in any way has something similar to what you're experiencing? My grandma always tells me life is life. Things happen. Things is not perfect. Sometimes you just got to live through it. Do you know what it's like to feel invisible? This is deeper than just being nice to each other. No pun intended. But we were taught as men, black men, toughen up, stop crying. Nobody cares how you feel. <laughs> well, that's easier said than done. Some of us don't have the luxury of a loving family, loving mom, loving dad. Some of us have one or the other. Some of us have neither. Some of us are coming from a home we don't feel safe in. So to feel unsafe behind these walls, how would that make you feel? Play your part, really be your brother's keeper. <laughs>